Welcome to our exploration of one of the pivotal moments of World War II, the Battle of France, the lightning war that shook Europe. In this series, we delve into the dramatic and rapid campaign that marked a turning point early in the war, leading to the fall of France to Nazi Germany. Known for its unprecedented speed and the use of blitzkrieg tactics, this battle reshaped the strategic landscape of Europe and had profound implications for all parties involved. Join us as we uncover the strategies, key events, and significant figures that played crucial roles in this historic conflict. From the planning stages to the critical battles and the eventual armistice, we aim to bring you a comprehensive understanding of how the Battle of France unfolded and why it had such a lasting impact on the course of World War II. Stay tuned as we journey back to 1940 and revisit the lightning war that shook Europe. These are the topics I shall cover in this video sequentially. First, some general information of the battle. Belligerence. The rapid advance of the German Wehrmacht stood against the combined forces of France, the United Kingdom, Belgium, and the Netherlands. Duration. The confrontation unfolded over a brief six weeks, beginning on May 10, 1940, and culminating in armistice on June 25, 1940. Commanders. Germany. Under the command of General Walther von Brachich, with strategic masterminds like Erwin Rommel and Heinz Guderian pioneering the Blitzkrieg tactics. Allies. French General Maurice Gamelin, later replaced by Maxime Vagon, and Lord Gort commanding the British Expeditionary Force. Casualties. Germany suffered approximately 27,000 fatalities and 111,000 wounded. Allies incurred a staggering 360,000 casualties and lost immense quantities of military hardware. Victor. Germany claimed a swift and decisive victory. Impact. The fall of France drastically shifted the European power balance, paving the way for Germany's further incursions into the continent. Background or cause of the battle. This pivotal conflict was ignited by Germany's ambition to dominate Western Europe and preempt a long-drawn conflict on two fronts. The declaration of war by France and the UK following Germany's aggression against Poland set the stage for this inevitable clash. Plans of both forces. Germany implemented the audacious Manstein plan, orchestrating a surprise thrust through the dense Ardennes forest, a region previously deemed impassable by military forces, aiming to reach the English Channel swiftly and encircle the Allied troops. Allies anchored their defense strategy in the robust Maginot Line, with significant forces positioned in Belgium, anticipating a German attack mirroring the tactics of World War I's Schlieffen plan. Detailed Progression of the Battle of France Initial German Invasion, May 10, 1940 The battle commenced with Germany's invasion of the Low Countries, Belgium, the Netherlands, and Luxembourg, to divert Allied forces northward, away from the Ardennes. Major Decision The German command, under von Rundstedt and with strategic plans from Manstein, opted for the surprise push through the Ardennes, a heavily wooded area previously considered too difficult for rapid armored movements. Breakthrough at Sedan, May 12 to 14, 1940. German forces reached the Meuse River at Sedan, where they encountered minimal resistance due to the focus of French forces on Belgium. Impact. The successful crossing of the Meuse was critical, allowing German panzer divisions under General Heinz Guderian to advance rapidly westward bypassing the main French defensive structures, the Maginot Line. Race to the Channel, May 15-20, 1940. Guderian's tanks pushed through northern France towards the English Channel at breakneck speed, a maneuver aimed at cutting off Allied forces in Belgium from the rest of France. Major Decision General Erwin Rommel, leading the 7th Panzer Division, drove his forces hard towards the Channel, outpacing other German units and contributing significantly to the encirclement. Encirclement of Allied Forces, May 20th to 24th, 1940. German forces reached the Channel on May 20th, effectively encircling British, Belgian, and some French forces around Dunkirk. Impact. This rapid movement led to the British initiating Operation Dynamo, the evacuation from Dunkirk. The halt order, May 24th, 1940. Hitler issued a controversial halt order, pausing the advance of German tanks for three days allowing British forces time to fortify their defenses around Dunkirk. Major Decision The decision, influenced by Hermann Göring's assurance that the Luftwaffe could prevent the evacuation, 
allowed a window that the Allies capitalized on. Dunkirk evacuation, May 26 to June 4, 1940. Despite intense air and artillery attacks, over 338,000 Allied soldiers were evacuated from Dunkirk in a mix of naval and civilian vessels under constant threat from German aircraft and artillery. Impact The evacuation was a significant morale boost for the Allies, though it left behind significant amounts of equipment. Fall of Paris and French surrender, June 14 to 22, 1940. After Dunkirk, German forces resumed their advance, moving southward and capturing Paris on June 14. The French government, led by Marshal Philippe Pétain, sought an armistice, which was signed on June 22, effectively ending the battle. Major decision. The French decision to seek an armistice rather than continue the fight from its colonies or alongside the British was pivotal, leading to the occupation of France. Aftermath and Reflection The rapid fall of France shocked the world and fundamentally altered the strategic landscape of World War II in Europe. The success of the Blitzkrieg in France forced the Allies to reconsider their military tactics and preparedness, leading to significant changes in how they approached the ongoing war. Major Tactics or Deception The German strategy was epitomized by the Blitzkrieg, a ferocious amalgamation of armored incursions, mechanized infantry, and air assaults, designed to penetrate deep into enemy territory rapidly, sowing confusion and disarray. The element of surprise and the unprecedented speed of the advance through the Ardennes were instrumental to their success. Causes of Victory and Defeat Victory, Germany The triumph of blitzkrieg tactics, characterized by surprise, speed, and relentless aggression, overwhelmed the ill-prepared allies. Defeat, allies A grave underestimation of the German capability to navigate the Ardennes and a sluggish response to the Blitzkrieg onslaught were critical factors in their defeat. Relevance of the Principles of War The German campaign demonstrated acute adherence to the principles of war, including mass, maneuver, surprise, and economy of force. Conversely, the Allies' lack of foresight and inadequate intelligence gathering reflected a failure to anticipate and counteract German strategies effectively. Summary. The Battle of France stands as a stark reminder of the devastating potential of warfare when combined with innovation, speed, and strategic brilliance. This swift conquest not only reshaped the military landscape of Europe, but also underscored the critical importance of adaptation and readiness in the face of evolving threats. That's all for today. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel to get more videos like this. The written document of this video is shared in the description link. Thank you.